The Lives of the Saints by Father Alban Butler, April 11th, St. Gemma Galgani. The short life of this saint, who was born in Camigliano in Tuscany in 1878 and died in Lucca at the age of 25, is not very picturesque. It is an existence of ardent piety and charity and of continuous sorrows. The source of her sufferings was ill health, the poverty into which her family fell, the contempt shown to St. Gemma by those or those who disturbed her devotional practices, ecstasies, and other phenomena, and finally, what she considered to be physical attacks by the devil. Instead, she had the immense consolation of living in constant communion with our Lord, who spoke to her as if he were bodily present, as well as meeting the kind Giamnini family, who after the death of her father treated her as a daughter. St. Gemma's poor health was congenital, as she suffered from tuberculosis of the spine, so she became more and more stooped. The doctors could do nothing, but St. Gabriel de la Dolorosa, to whom the young woman professed great devotion, appeared to her and cured her instantly. Gemma wanted to enter the convent of the Passionists, but, in spite of the miracle, she could not obtain the medical certificate of perfect health, which the nuns prudently demanded, in order to receive her into the novitiate. From June 1899 to February 1901, she periodically had the stigmata of the Passion. Later, the wounds of the flagellation of the Lord appeared all over her body. For a short period, she was possessed by the devil. Then she even spat on the crucifix and broke her confessor's rosary. But in her normal state, she enjoyed great interior peace. In her ecstasies, she spoke in a low and pleasant voice with the heavenly spirits, and those present took note of what she said on several occasions. St. Gemma died peacefully on Holy Saturday, April 11, 1903, after a long and painful illness. The Christian people began to venerate her immediately after her death, thanks in part to what her spiritual directors wrote about her. Her beatification took place in 1933 and her canonization in 1940. Her cause met with great opposition due to the extraordinary mystical experiences of the saint. It should be noted that when the Congregation of Rites declared that Gemma had practiced the Christian virtues to a heroic degree, it expressly refrained from pronouncing on the preternatural character of mystical phenomena, explaining that the Church never pronounces on this matter.